hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna do the reviews of mari fosa mayhem from mccart i'm really excited about this kit let's open it up and hi my name is kim if any of you guys news welcome right here i'm doing the nail tutorial and review and nail haul so i hope you guys will enjoy this kit and please subscribe to my channel if you like it give it a thumbs up and don't forget to ring the bell notification uh, so you don't miss any of my future video so this one right here i open it up is the um, decoration kit and it's come with the butterfly sticker so i'm gonna show you slowly one by one so you can see how they all look like so this one it looked more like a colorful solid it's not holographics but it looked really cute and in here it come with all 12 butterfly um, to its capsulator and then six of them is a 3d butterfly and they are beautiful so I'm going to show you all of them, how they look like really fast. So they all come with all kind of color from blue, pink, purple. And I'm a big fan of butterfly and I know a lot of you guys too. So what else about I love about this kit is that... Um, McCart, they're gonna help out the people that need from COVID-19 from the profits that they make out of this kit so that's a really meaningful thing and it's also really really beautiful And here is the last one. So now let me open it up, the poly gel kit. And the packaging are so cute with butterfly on it. So this kit is also come with dual form and they come with both kind of dual form the curled one and the straight one today I'm gonna use a dual form for this nail set and I'm gonna use a straight one and I'm gonna try it out the new way that lately um, I see it on TikTok that everybody doing the dual form in a different way that we're gonna apply um, a little bit first around the cuticle and then we apply later underneath the nails. So right here come with the nail file 100, 180 grit and a poly gel brush. It's one side the bachelor and the other side is a brush. I love my card brush. That's like the bad brush out there for the gel. And it also come with base coat and top coat. So with this kit, they come with all four color of poly gel. It's also come with decoration, two sticker, and the butterfly and the 3D butterfly. So this one you can see the more holographic look. Look really, really beautiful. And this is the butterfly that come with the kit in blue. I think in this one a kind of mixture of blue and pink. So today in the kit, I'm gonna use this one and also the 3D butterfly that came with the kit.
and with this butterfly so beautiful but I gotta warn you guys that they are um, 3d so they are really hooked on everything I only got it on my nail for a few days and I keep hooking that butterfly on my hair on my clothes so I warning that you're gonna lose some hair here so it's also come with instruction menu and right now I'm gonna squash the color for you guys to see how they look like so the first one is like a teal color the second one is a purple and I know that they all come with shimmery in it they look so beautiful and this one they look kind of like light pink or like a nude and the last one is a brighter pink and here's a closer look of how the color look like and they all look so beautiful so today I'm gonna go with the teal and one finger I'm gonna do the ombre of all the color to come with the kit so right now I'm siding my nail with the dual form and file around the cuticle area making sure it fit the nail good so today I'm using 70% alcohol at a slip solution so this is a thumb I'm really keep it really simple and try it out the technique from TikTok that I saw I'm just gonna squeeze out a little bit of poly gel around the cuticle area and gently press it down and slowly blend it out on the bottom just around that area only and we're gonna apply the poly gel later underneath after we cure the nail on top of the um, the light in the light so now I'm curing my nail for 60 seconds and I flip my nail around and I squeeze the poly gel underneath the nail and I starting to um, press it out slowly the same thing all over the nail so today I wanted to do the nail long all the way up all the length of the dual form here and I noticed that this technique is actually works so much better because underneath the nail is so much smoother when I do the middle finger with the old technique and I'm gonna show you the different how they look like underneath the nail so right now I'm gonna do the index finger and I wanted to uh, encapsulate it, some butterfly and some glitter so right here I just apply a little bit of base coat and put place the butterfly randomly in the nail and I also use some of my glitter that I already have to apply randomly around the butterfly too and after this I'm gonna flash cure the nail really fast for 10 seconds so the butterfly and the glitter they will stay in place so now I'm gonna do this finger ombre around the cuticle I will use the same color too and on the tip I'm gonna uh, applying the clear poly gel so I will do the same thing how I did earlier and I'm gonna blend the color out to make an ombre effect and I'm gonna cure my nails in the lamp so after that I apply the clear poly gel today I use the clear poly gel from my cart and apply underneath and blend it out and so far I love this technique so much because usually I always have the problem that underneath the nail is more um, bulky so you have to file a lot underneath the nail but with this one it actually um, work really well the nail so much smoother and here how the nail look after I pop up the dual form so the next finger I'm gonna do ombre 
So I'm going to use all the color that came with the kit today. I'm just going to squeeze it out randomly and then blend them out together. So with this finger, I don't do the technique like how I did with the other two. I'm just going to squeeze them randomly, the whole nail, and blend them out. And right now, I'm going to place the nail on, making sure it's straight, not crooked, and cure for 60 seconds. So I repeat the same um, of my ring finger, like the index, and my pinky, like the thumb. And I use some alcohol with the lymphy wipe to wipe off the stickiness of the nail on top and underneath the nail so right here I try to show you how it looked like underneath right now uh, underneath the nail right now before we file it so you can see right here in the middle finger around the nail tip is so much thicker and bulky and the other finger is not it's so much better it's so smooth so right now I'm just gonna cut the nail on the tip a little bit and today I try to go with a coffin shape. So right now I'm just gonna file my nails. And with this poly gel, it's so much easy um, that then you know acrylic is so easy to file. Sometimes you can even use your hand file to shape the nail, but today I also use e file just around the cuticle. Right now I'm just using some cuticle bit, the fine one, just to file around the cuticle area, just to smooth out the light where the poly gel that squeeze out to blend them in together. I don't really file the whole nail because with the way we do the dual form, when you pop up the dual form, the nail is already nice and smooth. So I don't really file the whole nail because I don't want it to over file the nail. I just focus about the area that we need which is the cuticle and also underneath the nail. With this dual form, um, I noticed that I file more underneath the nail than on the top. So we're going to do this and then file underneath to smooth it out all the poly gel that squeeze out. So right now I'm using a kind of like a pointy cuticle bit to clean underneath the nail and I know that the rest of the nail nice and smooth so I don't really need to do it that much just a little bit where's the tip of the nail at just to smooth it out and I need to use a bigger um, nail bit to file the middle finger because around the tip of the nail is so much thicker so I'm gonna do it really fast and making sure it's nice and smooth the whole nail
and today both of the nail drill bit that I use the gold one is from Enel Couture and I'm just buffing my nail all of them uh, get ready for top coat making sure they're nice and smooth and here's how the nail look after file and shape so right now I'm gonna apply the top coat on all of the nails and also underneath the nail because when we have the poly gel I recommend we do top coat underneath the nail too especially with this design on the ring finger and the index finger where we have the clear tip so when you're applying the top coat underneath the nail it makes the nail look so much clearer and so much prettier that way And right now I'm applying the top coat underneath the nail. So right now I'm gonna apply some rhinestone around the cuticle area. And also use the 3D butterfly. And today I'm using the rhinestone gel from Macar to apply some on my middle finger right here and put on the 3D butterfly. And they are so beautiful. Like I love the way it look. It looked really really cute. So after I cure my middle finger, making sure the butterflies they stay in place. Now I'm applying the rhinestone gel around the cuticle for the rest of the nail. And applying the rhinestone around the cuticle area. Because with this dual form, um, the cuticle area, they're not really looking that, you know, good. Like how when we scope the nail out. So I always like to do this way with the rhinestone um, to cover the cuticle area to make it look nice. And also of course the rhinestone make the nail look so much prettier. I'm a big fan of rhinestone. I always love to apply rhinestone on my nail. And each finger right here after I apply the rhinestone, I flash cure them before I put it in the light fully cure. And right now I'm applying some cuticle oil. And today I use the one from Kira Sky. And here's the finished look guys. I hope you guys like it. Give it a thumbs up if you like. And comment down below. Let me know um, that you like butterfly nail or not. So today I'll leave at the end a little bit long. Because I want to share with you my thought about this new technique that I got. I found from TikTok. 
that is really really good like i recommend you guys should do this way instead of the old, the way that you know before we used to do like how i did on the middle finger the nail is so much smoother underneath so then the shape stays so much nicer the one thing i wish i could have done is i will pick a dual form with a bigger side because when i um side my nail it fit my nail really good but after you we i applying the poly gel it doesn't fit that good so i wish i could have a bigger side of the dual form then i know the nail will look so much nicer and i love this kit from from macar the poly gel i love it so so much i recommend it for if you guys likes it i will link it down below because this kit is so beautiful everything that come with it so the next video i'm also gonna do another video about this kit this collection but not the poly gel but the gel polish so i'm gonna use the gel polish to do another set of nail and also your butterfly decoration too so i hope you guys like it and um i will see you next time bye